What's up, Insiders? I'm Lauren. I'm a program manager on our creator team at YouTube. And today we're here with Asaf, who's going to talk about what the studio team has been working on to make sure that creators can publish their videos in the best state possible. So welcome to the show, Asaf. Hello, Insiders. <laughs> I don't do it as good as Tom. Today we're going to be talking about what the team is calling pre-published checks. So what does that mean? Whenever a video is uploaded to YouTube, YouTube runs a bunch of checks on that video to check that there are no copyright claims on it, to make sure that the video is uh, meeting our community guidelines, and if the creator is monetizing, to make sure that the video is suitable to run ads. And this project is about taking everything that's happening behind the scenes and bringing it front and center as part of the upload flow to help creators kind of like understand what the state of their video is and also help them make sure that they don't publish with any issues on their video. That's awesome. So lots of transparency. I can imagine that creators would really like knowing all of this up front. I'm trying to imagine what it would look like in studio. Can you walk me through what the flow would look like? Yeah. So I actually have a demo. Let me show you. Let's say I want to upload a video to YouTube using studio. I'll demo the, uh, the new check step. So this is my test channel. I use it for to test a bunch of new features. I prepared a test video with uh, with a copyright and music on it just for the sake of this demo. So I'll select this file and let's see what happens. The upload experience opens as usual. I'll set this video as not made for kids. I type in my title and description. I'll set my monetization on for this video. And mark the ad suitability. And that is the new step that starts, that's called the check step. And that's where we show you how the video is being checked, checked in this case for copyright issues. So it should take up to four minutes. It, actually, it usually takes even less than that. And you can see the uh, progress down, down here at the bottom as well. The checks would start once the video is done processing. So in this case, uh, the video is done processing. And as you can see, um, YouTube found the claim on that video. And so therefore, the video is ineligible for monetization. And I can choose to see details here. Monetization ineligible, and I can decide whether I want to replace the song, mute the song, dispute the claim, or take any other action. If I want to ignore this warning and try to set this video to public, I'll be uh, warned again that the monetization is this video is not eligible for monetization because of the issue, and I can choose to publish anyway or review the issue and act on it. So yeah, that's it. That's the new kind of like check step. That's a new thing we're adding. That's the place where we're going to indicate to creators whether their video is in a good state and whether they can go ahead and publish without any issues. OK, so in the demo you just showed, we saw what the copyright flow would look like. You mentioned earlier monetization and policy will probably be included in this in the future. Can you tell me a little bit more about what that would look like? Right. So the demo I just shared is what we're building right now. It's still kind of like work in progress. So what I just showed you includes just the corporate copyright uh, claims at the moment. But we are planning to uh, release this with also the kind of like monetization eligibility checks. And this is how it would look like. We have a screenshot of what we're working on. One of the best practices we always tell creators is to upload their videos to Unlisted a few hours before they publish to make sure there are no monetization issues. With this check implemented, will they still have to do that, or will it be taken care of? That should take care of it. However, if creators wanna um, don't want to wait on the check step until all checks are done, if they want to kind of like rush through it, they should then save the video as unlisted or, or private. And they can come back to that 
get back to that video at any point in the future and check the restrictions in the video list to see if there are any restrictions on that video and address those before they go, before they publish. Okay, so there are a couple different ways creators can make sure that their videos are in a good state before they publish. So once you have copyright and monetization taken care of, are there other features you'd like to add to this? Yeah, absolutely. We really want to keep on working on this to make sure that everything is reflected and creators get the best possible um, indication of the state of their video. Uh, we started with copyright and monetization because those are the mo two most common restrictions. But we are planning absolutely to add additional restrictions in the future um, and help creators avoid any issues when they publish their videos. So yeah, stay tuned. If creators are excited about this, can they expect to see it in studio anytime soon? Yeah, so we're it's it's in the works. We're working on it. Hopefully, it will start rolling out in the coming weeks. Um, if you guys have any thoughts, opinions, ideas, please share those in the comment section below. Um, I'll be reading all those comments. Uh, I want to make sure that this thing that we're working on is helpful as much as possible. Thanks so much for coming on the show, Asaf. Leave your comments and questions for him below. And in the meantime, keep it real. Thank you. Bye, guys.